Samantha Jamie B. Born October 25, 1969 is a Canadian-American comedian, writer, producer, political commentator, actress, and television host. B. rose to fame as a correspondent on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, where she became the longest-serving regular correspondent. In 2015, she departed the show after 12 years to start her own show, Full Frontal with Samantha B. B. became a U.S. citizen in 2014, while retaining her Canadian citizenship. In 2017, Time named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world on their annual Time 100 list. Early Life and Education B. was born in Toronto, Ontario, the daughter of Deborah and Ronald B. She has said of her family dating from well before the turn of the 20th century, if there has ever been a successful, happy marriage in my family lineage, I've yet to hear about it. B.'s parents split up soon after her birth, and she was initially raised by her grandmother, who worked as a secretary at the Catholic school B. attended, on Rontes Bias Avenue during her childhood. She attended Humberside Collegiate Institute and York Memorial Collegiate Institute. After graduating from high school, B. attended McGill University, where she studied humanities. Dissatisfied with a range of issues at the school, she transferred to the University of Ottawa after her first year. At the University of Ottawa, B. signed up for a theater class thinking it would be easy. The class led to B. discovering her love of performing. B. later enrolled in the George Brown Theater School in Toronto. Career Career beginnings B. started auditioning for acting roles in Toronto while working as a waitress. At age 26, B. toured with a stage production of Sailor Moon where she played the titular role. B. performed in Sailor Moon's a cast and future husband Jason Jones was a member of the B. cast. B was one of the four founding members of Toronto-based sketch comedy troupe The Atomic Fireballs. The Fireballs were all women. Demonstrating mutual support, the group would try to perform as many of each other's ideas as they could. 2003-2014 The Daily Show B became a correspondent for The Daily Show with Jon Stewart on July 10, 2003. B was the sole female correspondent on The Daily Show from her debut in 2003 until Kristen Schaal joined the show in March 2008. She was The Daily Show's first non-U.S. citizen correspondent. On that program, B demonstrated an ability to coax people into caricaturing theme solves particularly in segments like Kill Drill, on hunters and fossil fuel executives claiming to be environmentalists, they so horny? On the dearth of Asian men in U.S. Pornography, tropical repression, on Ed Heaney, a Florida politician running his campaign based on opposition to gay rights, the undecided, an over-the-top look at the undecided voters leading up to the 2004 U.S. presidential elections, the Samantha B. So You Want to Be A report series, which humorously caricatured the way in which one can easily obtain a certain job, like becoming a 527 group, and a segment entitled NILF's News I'd Like to FK, discussing the sexiness of news anchors CNN has the wholesome girl next door NILF's, the kind you can bring home to meet your mother. MSNBC has the dirty over 30 NILF's. Fox has the filthy NILFs who will report anything. They're the hustler of NILFs. She had her first starring role in a feature film in 2004 with the Canadian independent film Ham Cheese, co-written by her husband Jason Jones and starring Canadian comic Scott Thompson and Dave Foley. The film marked B's first starring role. She won a Canadian Comedy Award for Pretty Funny Female Performance for her role. Jones joined The Daily Show as a correspondent in 2005, two years after his wife. Jones became a freelance correspondent for the show while B reduced her workload during her pregnancy. In December 2005, on The O'Reilly Factor, Bill O'Reilly used a clip of B from The Daily Show as an example of the war on Christmas, presenting it as having aired recently. The satirical clip featured B mentioning how Christmas was the only religious holiday that's also a federal holiday in the United States, with O'Reilly talking about Secular Central, excuse me, Comedy Central. John Stewart responded on his show, inviting B out for a discussion, and unlike in a clip that aired on Factor, B was visibly eight months pregnant. B joked it was obvious that the footage O'Reilly showed was a year old it originally aired in 2004 because she had different highlights in her hair, before stating that her water had just broken. B was recognized with a 2005 Canadian Comedy Award for Best Female TV Performance for her work on The Daily Show. On January 20, 2008, B finished as the highest scoring celebrity in the CBC game show Test the Nation. She had a minor role in episode 15, Spy Something or Get Out, of Little Mosque on the Prairie. B also appeared in the 12th episode of season 20 of Law Order Blackmail, episode 445, which aired on January 15, 2010. She played a minor role in an episode of the HBO series Bored to Death. She appeared as herself on the Madam President episode of The Electric Company. 
B also did a guest voice role of a talk show hostess named Pam in the season 2 finale of Bob's Burgers, in addition to providing the voice for Lila Lollaberry for two episodes in season 4 of Phineas and Ferb. She appeared on Sesame Street during season 42 as Mother Goose. In 2009, B appeared in the original cast of Love, Loss, and What I Wore. That same year, she had a small role in the comedy Whatever Works, written and directed by Woody Allen. B authored the book I Know I Am, But What Are You? which was published in 2010. She became the longest-serving regular Daily Show correspondent after passing Stephen Colbert's record in 2011. The same year, B collaborated with her longtime friend Alana Harkin on the parenting blog Eating Over the Sink for the online magazine Babbel. In 2012, she appeared in Ken Finkelman's series Good God Shandy Summers, a devoutly Christian cable news host. She has also played roles in the series Bounty Hunters and Game On. In 2014, B was a panelist on Canada Reads, the CBC's annual national book debate. She defended Ra Weehage's novel Cockroach. On October 7, 2014, in the absence of Jon Stewart, she co-hosted The Daily Show with Jones. 2015 present Full Frontal with Samantha B. Main article Full Frontal with Samantha B. In March 2015, it was announced that she would leave The Daily Show, after 12 years, to host her own satirical news show on TBS. B departed The Daily Show on April 30, 2015. Her new show, Full Frontal with Samantha B, debuted on February 8, 2016. With the program's debut, B became the first woman to host a late-night satire show. B also tried to implement a hiring process which would give her show a more diverse staff than what is typical for a late-night comedy show. The first season of Full Frontal generated critical acclaim and in November 2016, the show was renewed for a second season throughout 2017. B is an executive producer of the TBS comedy series The Detour 2016 Present, which she created with her husband, Jason Jones. One year into B's run on Full Frontal, time named B one of the 100 most influential people in the world. On April 29, 2017, Full Frontal with Samantha B hosted Not the White House Correspondents' Dinner which aired on TBS the same evening. In July 2017, B's Nasty Woman shirt campaign raised over $1 million for Planned Parenthood. In January 2018, TBS renewed Full Frontal for a third and fourth season, set to air through 2020. B's deal with Turner runs through 2022. Influences B has credited Jon Stewart as one of her major influences, and in several interviews she has said that her other comedic influences include Steve Martin, David Letterman, Mary Tyler Moore, Lucille Ball, Carol Burnett, Betty White, and Joan Rivers. Personal life In 2001, B married actor Jason Jones, whom she first met in 1996. They reside in Manhattan, New York. In January 2006, she gave birth to Piper B. Jones, she returned to The Daily Show in March 2006. On January 24, 2008, B announced a second pregnancy on air during a bit about the media's coverage of the 2008 presidential campaign. In 2008, their second child, Fletcher B. Jones, was born. Their third child, a daughter named Ripley, was born in late 2010. During her third pregnancy, B joked she and Jones were just procreating like we're farmers. B holds both Canadian and United States citizenship after being naturalized as an American citizen in 2014.